Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried saying that I wasn't right. Before the video starts, I wanted to say that if I do sound kind of low on my voice, I'm actually sick right now. But, you know, work is work and we gotta cover news for Monster Arts. SH Monster Arts Shimu from Godzilla X Kong The New Empire is scheduled for release on January 2025. Pre-orders open on June 21. From the movie Godzilla X Kong The New Empire, Shimu is joining SH Monster Arts. The body is made from a brand new mold and it's made with amazing joint mobility which allows you to recreate many poses from the movie. The crystals on Shimu's back have been recreated by using clear parts. By combining Godzilla 2024 evolved version from Godzilla X Kong The New Empire and Scar King from Monster Arts, you can recreate more dynamic fighting scenes from the movie. Shimu also comes with a head part for Kong from Godzilla X Kong 2021 exclusive edition from SH Monster Arts. By using this head part for Kong from Godzilla X Kong The New Empire 2024, you can recreate scenes from the movie where you see Kong clinching with his teeth. Okay, so that's all the information and my bad if I don't sound very motivated or extremely happy. Again, I'm sick, but it's great news. From what we can see on the photos, Shimu looks very, very impressive and a lot of our fears have been answered with this. Initially, a lot of people thought that his arms were way too skinny, too thin. But now that we have the full images, that no longer is the case. Looking at the images, you can clearly see that everything about Shimu is movie accurate. Just looking at the pictures, I think everything looks extremely awesome. I like the translucent material that is used on the dorsal plates, the tail. I like the poses that can be done and by the looks of it, this does seem to have more articulation than Hayatoi's Shimu. Especially on the next section, you can see there's multiple cuts for more mobility on the chest, arms, hands. Even the claws appear to also move and just like the tips, which is incredible, the tail as well seems very articulated. And now this puts um, Haya Toys in a tough position because literally um, Shimu from Monster Art has everything you could ask for, good articulation. A amazing design with accuracy, translucent material, and we don't know about the height yet, which is kind of weird, and we don't know about the price point. That should determine whether people go with Monster Arts or Haya Toys. Now, another thing that I noticed, which is kind of odd, the paint job is not the best. I think Haya Toys has the better paint job, that um, pearl-like color around the arms. Because if you remember, Shimu is not fully white. She has multiple colors like that pearl-like shiny color, and very crystal-like. Both companies have delivered a fantastic figure, but I think for me, I'm going with Monster Arts yet again. I think the mobility, like articulation is there. And if you're looking for something with more details and the paint job to be a lot better, then it's probably likely to go with Haya Toys. Here's a comparison with both of them. I think there's a little bit of everything for everybody out there, which is a good thing to have variety with both companies. They're not giving you the exact same figure, but I have a feeling that later down the road, Haya Toys is going to release a exclusive upgraded Shimu with translucent material, possibly effects, but that's not confirmed. That's just my theory putting two to two together so let me know what you think and of course Haya Toys seems to be more detailed because of the black wash and extra paint job that it has throughout the body compared to Monster Arts which is simply a white color and to put it more easy for you if you're somebody who's looking for mobility articulation to go crazy with your figure then Monster Arts is for you if you're somebody on a budget that wants a decent figure but not too crazy with articulation higher toys is for you and it's good to have um variety with both figures again it's a good thing that they don't look completely the same and you guys can see in this image 
Monster Arts can look all the way up while Hayao Toys seems to be struggling to look upwards but it can look downwards so that's something to consider if you're going for articulation the price point details the paint job and accessories of course monster arts shimu will have an extra accessory which is the kong head included for your um monster arts kong so they're kind of doing the trend that i've been wanting for such a long time by purchasing a single figure you're getting access to different accessories which can be combined later on with your figure to recreate different scenes and that's good in this case all those accessories are going towards kong if you got the normal kong from 2021 or 2024 if you pick up scar king shimu and godzilla they're giving you accessories to upgrade your kong with the arm the head and other things along the way now i'm not going to be too optimistic on the price point for monster arts shimu uh, we've recently seen that those lines have become expensive like scar king especially godzilla evolve shimu if they're going for accuracy on the size assuming that shimu is going to be a big figure then we could possibly be looking at wait never mind i was going to give a prediction on the price point but apparently the price point for shimu is going to be around 175 usd which is a lot of money i was going to say about 170 which is pretty close and wow that is a big difference considering the price point that is a big changer so what do you guys think are you going for monster arts or Haya Toys, considering this price point, it's way too much. Um, now that I have that information, I'd rather go for Haya Toys. And now that I'm looking at the sculptures, it seems, I could be off, but it seems like Haya Toys is just a little bit more accurate when it comes to the head sculpture. But I also believe that Monster Arts isn't that far apart. They're going for the image that we got of the battle in the city in brazil where you have that elongated type of head where it's just more long from the corners you guys can see there's a difference monster arts on the tip of the head has that sharp edge to it right it's sharp and it's long haya toys has that circle edge to it and there's a huge difference so yeah let me know your thoughts is this a big changer? Is this a big turnoff? I know it is for me because that's a lot of money considering that Scar King is around $100. Godzilla Evolve is around $160, $150 something. Shimu almost $200 for the whole set. That's a lot of money. With that much money, you can buy multiple figures from Haya Toys. So it really is up to you. I think Monster Arts really fucked up with that price point. If they would have gave us effects and extra things, it would have been, you know, okay. But still, I think a decent price point would have been 130 And at this point, I know there's always going to be people out there that find something wrong with this figure. That's totally okay. If you don't like this Monster Arts Shimu, that's fine. That's why you have Haya Toys. And if you don't like Haya Toys, you have Monster Arts, there's Bandai, there's multiple options out there. But as of right now, for articulation, you only have those two. So it really does come down to what you want right now. And it's a tough choice, it really is. But if you got the money, go for both of them. Also, most figures are releasing by the end of this year, next year, which is kind of crazy. But I think at this point, a lot of 3D creators are going to offer accessories for those figures. I'm pretty sure about that. We're going to see accessory heads, um, switchable weapons, accessories for buildings and other things. They've been doing that for Haya Toys as well, for Monster Arts. So yeah, it's no surprise. Um, kind of is disappointing to be honest to, you know know that the price point is almost $200 which is a lot of money I think Monster Arts should have reconsidered that price point and should have left it at 130 plus shipping now that is retail with Monster Arts can you just imagine other third-party stores 
yeah this figure is definitely going to be 200 plus shipping uh easily 195 to 200 dollars which is disappointing but it is what it is now i know there's going to be people that get both of them which is totally fine and i know there's people that are going to combine monster arts and haya that's also a good um route to take i think i'm going to do that um the money isn't an issue but it's simply the fact that i don't support this type of thing with companies knowing that they could do better now i'm not complaining about the design but rather the ethics that they're taking of offering so little for so much money it just does not make any sense to me now it would be understandable if this figure actually was freaking huge came with accessories so many things and yeah it makes sense but personally i just rather not support this type of thing with monster arts uh, and then right now monster arts is making a comeback so i don't know it's going to be a hate and love type of thing between both good thing we have options honestly this is Ruby Gaming X. I'm out. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching.